Uh, welcome to the lecture notes of fuzzy analysis. In this lecture, we discuss about some fuzzy number. First of all, I will discuss about triangular fuzzy number. Triangular fuzzy number. After that, I will discuss trapezoidal fuzzy number. After that, we discuss bell shape fuzzy number. And some another fuzzy number. Mm. Which is called Gaussian fuzzy number uh, first of all we will start about triangular fuzzy number what is triangular fuzzy number triangular fuzzy number it is a fuzzy number Fuzzy number represented with three points as follows. We will represent the triangular fuzzy number as three points. That is a triangular fuzzy number A is equal to A1, A2, and A3. This is left hand point and point. This is right end point. And this is peak point. The membership function of peak point must be one. Uh, if the membership function of peak point is one, it is normalization because we will uh, discuss in uh, uh, this in previous lecture, the fuzzy, uh, the triangular, uh, so the fuzzy number must be normalized. Uh, now, uh, the representation of a fuzzy number in membership function, how we represent this fuzzy number in membership function. In previous lecture, we will uh, discuss that uh, the fuzzy number is written in interval A1, A2, and A3. This is interval of real number. And this is subset of R. This interval is subset of R. And these are real number A1, A2, and A3 belong to R. Uh, how we convert any fuzzy number to triangular fuzzy number and it uh, convert it with membership function? Uh, now we will write this the membership of A of X is equal to 0. Uh, if x is less than a1, if you have a triangular fuzzy number, I will write in graphical way. These are point a1, a2, and a3. This is the, uh, they are, these are x-axis and this is membership function, uh, mu a of x. Along y-axis we write membership function. The membership function uh, is zero if uh, x is less than a1. For our real number which are less than a1, the membership function is zero. And the membership function for our real number uh, between a1 and a2, what is the membership function between a1 and a2, which is, uh, we will uh, define this by equation of line or slope of line. Let uh, x minus a1 divided by a2 minus a1, uh, where a1 is equal or less than x is equal or less than a2. And it is 2 at, if 
it is a to the membership function sorry the membership function is one at x is equal to a2 at x is equal to a2 its membership function is one one and we know that this is the uh, uh, slope of equation of line we will find the graph between a1 and a2 it it has a membership function one at a2 and the a uh, slope of line between a1 and a2 is this this is the membership function between a1 and a2 and the membership be function between a2 and a3 is uh, a3 minus x divided by a3 minus a2 a a2 is equal or less than x is equal or less than a3. This is the right end point. The membership function between this point is the slope uh, of line between a2 and a3, which is this. This is membership function. And when x is less than a2, it is 0. Greater than a3, it is 0. x is greater than a3. When x is greater than a3, its membership function is 0. Now we will define the triangular fuzzy number. Uh, it has, has left end point a1 to a2. This is left end point and right end point, uh, which is a2 to a3. a3 is left end point, a1 is uh, sorry, a1 is left end point, a3 is right end point, and a2 is b point here. This function is, this is the membership function, uh, x minus a1 divided by a2 minus a1, and this membership function is defined by a3 minus x divided by a3 minus a2. Uh, this is definition of triangular uh, fuzzy number. And this is the left parameter, and this is the right parameter. Uh, A1 to A, A2, we call this as a left parameter. From A2 to A3, we call this as right parameter. We will define fuzzy number parametrically in next lecture, how we will define a triangular number in uh, parametrically. We will define this after uh, completing the lecture of fuzzy number. Uh, we will write this as uh, the fuzzy number x minus a1 divided by a2 minus a1 is equal to alpha and a3 minus x divided by a3 minus a2 is equal to alpha. Uh, <coughs> where alpha belong to 0 and 1. And uh, from this alpha level set or alpha cut, we find the membership function of fuzzy number. If you multiply a2 minus a1 to alpha, this is x is equal to, after solving this, we get um, x is equal to a2 minus a1 of alpha plus a1, and uh, x is equal to um, a3 minus a2 of alpha minus a3 so this is plus a3 this is minus and uh, this is left parameter and this is the right parameter if you uh, put any value of alpha between 0 1 you get the graph of triangular fuzzy number this if you put alpha is 0, you get, if alpha is 0, you get a1, and if alpha is uh, 1, you get uh, a2. Uh, if, uh, similarly, here, if you put alpha is equal to 0, you get a3, and you put alpha is equal to 1, you get a2. Again, uh, this is pi. If you put all the values between 0 and 1, you get the line segment uh, between a1 and 
A2. And if you put alpha is zero in right parameter, you get line sequence between A2 and A3. Now we will solve an example of triangular fuzzy number. How we deal with triangular fuzzy number? Uh, let we have a triangular fuzzy number a is equal to minus 5 minus 1 and a 1. This is a triangular fuzzy number. We know that this is left end point, this is right end point, this is peak point, and minus 1 has membership function 1. And we can we write this in membership function as uh, mu a of x is equal to 0. If uh, x is less than minus 5, mu of a of x is equal to x minus into uh, minus 5 divided by minus 1 minus into minus 5 when minus 5 is equal to less than x is equal to less than minus 1 and its value is 1 if x is equal to minus 1 and its value is 1 minus x divided by 1 minus into minus 1 when it lies between minus 1 is equal to less than x is equal to less than 1. Uh, when we draw this uh, as graphically, uh, we know that x minus 5 uh, divided by minus 1 plus x minus 5 is x plus 5 divided by 4. And this is uh, this is equal to 1 minus x divided by 2. This is equal to x plus 5 divided by 4. Uh, we will the graph of this triangular fuzzy number is uh, this is minus 5, minus 1, and 1. As we will, uh, we know that the graph is x plus 5 divided by 4, and the membership function is, this is mu a of x, membership function here is 1. If you put uh, this is the left parameter. Left parameter is x plus 5 divided by 4. And right parameter is 1 minus x divided by 2. Uh, if you put uh, x is equal to minus 5, its membership function is 0. If x is less than minus 5, its membership function is also 0. If you put uh, minus 1 here, x is equal to minus 1. This is minus 1 plus 5 is uh, plus 5 divided by 4, which is 1. And you know that this is equation of line x plus 5 divided by 4 is slope of equation of line. So we draw the equation line between minus 1 and 5, which is this. And x plus 5 divided by 4 is this. And uh, 1 minus x divided by 2 is this. This is 1 minus x divided by 2. And when x is greater than 1, it is 0. This is triangular fuzzy number. And this is left parameter, which is x plus 5 divided by 4. This is graph of x plus 5 divided by 4. And this is 1 minus x divided by 2. And uh, we will uh, convert this as a level set, like x plus 5 divided by 4 is equal to alpha. Uh, when we solve this, x is equal to 4 alpha minus 5 and 1 minus x divided by 2 is equal to alpha, and x is equal to uh, minus 2 alpha plus 1. Now, the alpha level set is uh, a of alpha is equal to a1 of alpha and a3 of alpha, which is equal to 4 alpha minus 5, minus 2 alpha plus 1, where alpha belong to uh, 0 and 1. When we put uh, the value of alpha and level of alpha, we get the corresponding interval uh, uh, interval of real line. If we put uh, alpha is equal to 0, alpha is equal to 0 in this interval, where a of 0 is equal to 
minus 5 and 1, which is the whole interval. If we put alpha is equal to mm, 0 0.5, like alpha is equal to 0 point, we will get A of 0 0.5 is equal to 4 into 0 0.5 minus 5 minus 2 into 0 0.5 plus 1. Mm which is equal to mm, 4 into 0 0.5 to minus 3 which is uh, i think which is equal to minus 3 and this is equal to 0 uh, which is alpha of 0 0.5 when you put alpha is equal to 0 0.5 you will get the corresponding Phillips interval a uh, real value interval which is minus 3 and 0 uh, graphically we will check that if you uh, put the value of alpha at 0 0.5 you have the value 0 0.5 which is alpha level set alpha is equal to 0 0.5 when you put the level at 0 0.5 you will get the corresponding interval which is minus 3 and 0 and we will complete the uh, triangular fuzzy number in this uh, in next lecture we will discuss about prepositional fuzzy number and then after we will discuss parameter definition of fuzzy